Hi everyone, it's Gem here and welcome to The Colour Cave where we like to play with art stuff. It's a later video today. I was awaiting the arrival of the Scrawler box, which interestingly or not has an elastic band on it today. Might have been the postie, who knows? I'm getting a bit concerned about the length of time that the scroller box is taking to ship. If you look on the scroller box website, which will be in the description, it tells you that transit time for the UK is between two and three days and they do send you an email to notify you that a box has been shipped. I received that email on the 19th of the month and this is now the 26th. 26th today? 26th. So that's taken a week. Now they are a UK based company, I live in the UK, and uh, after receiving some feedback and some comments from you guys, it turns out that I'm not the only person that this is happening to. So it's something I'm going to keep an eye on and I may even contact Scrawlerbox and ask them and see if they've changed couriers or something like that. It does come Royal Mail, which is the standard mail service in the UK. Uh, but if I find anything out about that, I shall let you know. Anywho's, let's get back to business. I'm just gonna grab my little knife and we can get going and see what is in this month's scroller box. Sounds like pencils. Alrighty, let's boogie. <laughs> Every month that this box arrives, there seems to be more and more tape on it. All right. Ooh, and everything is nicely wrapped. As most of you know by now, there are a few regulars in the scroller box. You always get a piece of art by a featured artist. You always get some sort of sweetie and you get a bookmark that lists all the supplies in the box and a scroller box sticker. Those are the things that come every single month. So I can see the artwork here. And, oh, this is quite interesting. This is like a sketch study in coloured pencil. Now this is exactly the kind of thing that I'm actually doing just now in my sketchbook because I am not very good at drawing any parts of humans. As some of you might have seen my social media posts as well, I am drawing a lot of noses and eyes and things. So th this is really cool, this really appeals to me and the colours are lovely as well. Okay, so our featured artist is Taylor Brooker and she, she, he, oh, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, um, but they're from the UK. Down at the bottom here, you can see that there is links to the social media. So if you like the look of their art, you can go and follow them on Instagram and all the rest of it. And I may do that because I really like this. Oh, 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 oh my goodness me. Look at this. We have got a jot book, but not only that, it is actually a branded, a branded notebook. That's pretty nice. It's got some stickers on it as well. Okay, what does it say? 60 numbered pages, blank table of contents, perforated detachable pages, thread bound book opens flat, sticker for labeling, ink proof paper and acid free paper ink proof. Now that's interesting. Okay, so that's, that's really good. That is a really high quality notebook. That is very satisfying, I have to say. Okay, so we've got our scroller box sticker and how cool does that look that this month? It's like pencil scribbles. That is awesome. I want to stick that on my sketchbook. That is really cool. I really like that. I've got so many of these blue ones that is unreal. So it's quite nice to have a, a scribbly one like this. We did have a black one a few months back as well. That was cool too. Ooh. Right, and here is our list of supplies, which we'll not look at just now because I like the surprise. Oh my goodness me, we have a melody pop. This is like a whistly lollipop thing, choppy chops. Oh my goodness, there's all sorts in here. Okay, first of all, we have... <laughs> we have a hybrid gel grip DX, which is a Pentel pen. And I know this because I already have one of these. This is quite a, a chunky pen. It's actually really good as a white gel pen. Um, see for adding highlights and putting a, a nice sort of bold outline on a coloured background. It goes really well over the top of coloured pencil as well. I did do a review on a variety of gel pens and I'll link that in the card and I'll also leave it in the description for if you want to check that out and you can actually see how this pen performed. Oh, a Helix Oxford. This is just like a an ordinary bulb point pen and it's got something stuck to it. I think it's just a bit plastic. Those bits are clearly going to get broken off. This is a blending stump. It's a Kohinoor blending stump. A graphite stick, a Kohinoor graphite stick. So that is pure graphite as in what your pencil lead is normally made of but it's not encased in any sort of wood and if this is 2B which interestingly is my preferred sketching pencil. I, I normally use a B or a 2B pencil when I'm doing pr preliminary sketching. Oh, but we're clearly on Koh Noor territory. This looks like a white pencil. 
well, it looks like a white pencil. It is a white pencil. Uh, we've also got a 2B normal graphite pencil, which kind of sucks because they've given us the graphite in 2B. I thought they might have given us, you know, something else, but okay. We have three Statler Ergosoft coloured pencils and they're kind of like triangular barreled and Statler pencils have all got this sort of white, this white line it's like a protective core around it and it's to stop breakages they feel really nice they've got like a a slightly sort of rubbery grip on them um they, they, yeah that feels good and lastly we have three Bic Crystal pens in similar colours to our pencils and these are 1.6 millimetre which I do believe is the medium when I write normally you know for work my, my proper job um i use big crystal pens i really like them but i like the fine tip ones which is the orange barrel ones and i use these all the time so i quite like big pens as well they're nice and reliable they're dirt cheap yeah there you go so if you look at the nib sizes they are substantially different as i say the the orange barreled one which is the fine point one i normally use so i think this one might be a medium or even perhaps a broad. So that is a jam-packed scroller box this month, my goodness. Let's have a look and see what it says on the card. November, we have jammed the products into this month's box. That's funny because I just said that. But we want you to try and create something using just a single item or only one colour. Oh, so we're going minimalist this month. Take inspiration from our featured artist and challenge yourself to see what effects you can create with a single item so that the, the featured artist has actually followed the instructions that came with the scroller box and that doesn't happen very often it's something that i quite like though because quite often we get a featured artist and they may have used some of the supplies in the box loosely um but quite a lot of time the art's been uh been done digitally and it doesn't actually relate to what's in the box it's more like just there as something to give you some inspiration it says after that challenge yourself to see what effects you can create with a single item and then after that it says then throw caution to the wind i like throwing caution to the wind and try using them all at once good luck well you guys know that i always do that anyway so pff, yeah i'm all over it so let's see what it says about the statler ergo soft pencils triangular bag pencil they call it a soft touch coating i just said it was nice wasn't it it's nice the pencil coating is a smooth a smooth yet grippy paint is grippy a word the big crystal fun ball ball, ball point pa, 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 pa. say that sober big pens use quality ink yes we know this okay so it doesn't actually tell you i'm probably better finding out what nib size this is because on the barrel here it says 1.6 so I'm going to find out what the fine point is and I'll, I'll probably put it along the bottom of the screen. The Pentil Hybrid DX White Gel Pen we've already talked about. As I say, I've done a video on that. It's in the description. And jumbo Graphite Stick. Thick woodless sticks of graphite. Protective paper wrap to keep both stick and your hands clean. Helix Oxford Ballpoint Pen. It's just a black ballpoint pen. Graphite Pencil. It's just a pencil. Okay, this white pencil, the Koenur White Pencil, is an eraser pencil. Now... Yeah, this is, I'm pretty sure if some of you are regular viewers of the Scroller Box unboxings, we did get the Faber-Castell one a couple of months back and I absolutely hated it. I'm just not a fan of these at all. I have plenty of erasers that will do a much better job. If it does work well as an eraser though, it might be really good for getting into tighter spaces. Paper Stump Blender, it's just for blending your graphite, which again I shall demonstrate just shortly. I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Luchterm? Somebody can correct me in the comments, please, if I'm wrong. I would say Luchterm. Jotbook Medium A5. Flexible cover notebook. Rounded corners. Slim perforated number. Yeah, okay. So let's have a let's have a look inside this. And a lot of people I know use them for uh, bullet journaling. Um, I don't use them personally for bullet journaling. God, I can't even pronounce it, let alone use it. <laughs> But I, knew, I do know that they are quite high quality notebooks. Let's pop this out of the way. So there's some stickers there. So you could plonk one of them on the front if you wanted, if you wanted to label it. Or you could put your scroll box sticker on it. I like the rounded corners. There's a bit in the front for your name. Oh, the paper's thick. Oh no, that's just the cover page. I got really excited there because that's like almost like cardstock. But that's just the front cover. Okay, and there's a contents page. This paper is so thin. There is a texture to it, so I'm assuming it's going to take coloured pencils, okay. And the pages are numbered as well, which is really nice. And see, the pages are perforated, so you can tear them out. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tear out the last page because we're going to test our supplies on it. 
it does lie flat really well as well. Now that I've pressed that out, that's pretty good as well. They did mention that in the in the description, didn't they? So, right, let's see what we're like for perforation purposes. Oh, okay, yeah, we're doing quite well with this. Okay, perforation's great. Can you see how thin that paper is, though? You can, like, you can see the corner of the book through. It's quite flimsy. Yeah, my sketchbook is also A5, and I like it because... It's small enough to carry about with you, but if you want to go crazy, then if you can use a double page and it's basically A4 sized, uh, which is really nice as well. So I, I'm really pleased with this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I really like it. Oh. <laughs> Let's start with the not exciting things. Hmm. I can't say much about this, it's a ballpoint pen. The ink flow's pretty good. It's not scratchy, you know, it's, um, yeah, that's, uh, feels, feels quite nice. As far as ballpoint pens go, I mean, it, it feels quite nice. There's not really much I can say about that, honestly. So that is a ballpoint pen. That may go into Mr. Jim's pen pot, I think, after we've done the challenge. Shh. Other ballpoint pens. So we've got the Bic Crystal pens, which I really like. I'm going to have to take these sticky labels off because these absolutely bug the living daylights out of me. I shall be back in a moment. Better. This feels so familiar. That is, it's a much chunkier line width than I would normally use. I see, I'm just used to using the fine point ones, um, you know, for my day-to-day -day stuff. So this is kind of... Feels kind of strange. That colour of pink is lovely though. That is proper pink. I just realised I spelt crystal roll. Oh dear. The ink flow in these pens is so good and that's why I like using them. The purple is quite nice as well. I could love that. If you do let up the pressure, you can get a fainter line there. You can see that it's slightly thinner as well. I'm, I'm hardly pressing at all there if you compare that to up here. So you do, you can get a bit of line width variation in things in terms of, of using them for drawing. And it's something I have heard some of the bigger YouTubers mention that they, they draw in ballpoint. It's not something I've really tried, but you guys know me, I, I like pencils, I'm a per pencil person. But this is, you know, this stuff like this is good. This is why I like scroller box because it's gonna, it's gonna make me try things that I wouldn't normally try. And I might, you know, I never know, I might like it. Yeah, so there we go again, a slightly lighter and thinner line width. Okay, we've got the coloured pencils now, so let's move on to those. These are the Ergo Soft pencils. Yeah. It's quite a smooth lay down. You can't see a lot of my pencil lines there, but that I think that's more the paper than the pencil, if I'm honest. There, you seem to have to do quite a lot of work. They're quite a hard cord pencil when generally when I'm using colored pencils I use either polychromos pencils or prismacolor pencils now prismacolor pencils are incredibly soft so anything feels hard next to that but I seem to be having to work quite hard to get pigment down on the paper here I think these are more of a budget pencil as opposed to um you know like professional style so they, they feel, if I had to put it in a scale, I would say it's more at the Crayola end than anything else. I don't think they're quite as hard as Crayolas though. I'm not having to like break my wrist to it. But see, that pink feels a lot better. I'm not having to put nearly as much pressure down to do that. But yeah, they're, they're okay. And the colors are nice as well. They're vibrant enough. I could maybe get used to them. And they do feel good to hold. The triangular barrel is nice and also means as well they don't roll away. And there's the purple. Now that is me pressing really, really hard. That's not bad. Okay, so this is the Kohenur um, 2B pencil. This feels like a really cheap pencil. I use um, WH Smith drawing pencils, which is like our, our local not our local, it's it's a UK stationer. Um I've been around for a long, long time, and their drawing pencils are quite cheap and they don't feel as cheap as this one. It just feels very hollow and, yeah. It's quite dark for a 2B pencil. If it's one thing I know it's my 2B pencils, because as I said, it's, that's generally what I use for sketching. And here we have the eraser pencil. This feels better quality than the, the graphite pencil. So let's see if this is gonna be any good at all. Oh, wow. 
I have an eraser pencil that works. That's, that's exciting. Let's try and mop up my smudge here. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. <sighs> Let's see if it does anything to the coloured pencil. Coloured pencil generally is really hard to, to erase. Oh, that's not bad at all. Can you see that? That's taken off about as much of the pigment as any other eraser would. And here we have our graphite stick. I'm going to move over here for this. Graphite sticks are so much fun because you can use them as a pencil. And it, it just feels like a heavy pencil. And obviously this one's quite chunky. So it's not going to snap or anything. So there we go. And you can do all these nice thin lines like this. But you can turn it on its side. And you can actually use that sort of slopey sidey bit and you can start to shade things in. Again, I find it weird that it's a 2B, but okay. I'd have gone, even 4B would have been good. But you, you've got a lot of versatility with this. And you can, that is pretty thick. The corner do this all the time. They gave us another pencil not that long ago that was really massive. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to fit that in a sharpener. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Suggestions about sharpening these or if somebody does have one or uses them already, please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate that because I have never owned one of these. So here's our blending stump, which is just basically, um, they're usually made of like rolled up paper or squished up, you know, like pulped paper. And the idea behind this is to use it to blend out areas like this and smooth things out a little bit. Yeah, so you can you can work out your some of your areas and smooth out what it is you've actually drawn. You see that that that's blending out really nicely, and I can even join these two bits up, and you would never know that they weren't part of each other to begin with. And you can work over areas and work over areas and work over areas. There you go. I use a little. Um, it's just basically a wee rectangle of sandpaper um, to take the you know, whatever's left on the tip, you can see there that that's a little bit dirty. And that keeps your point pointy as well, but also takes off any excess graphite that's left. And we have the Pentel DX pen. I'm not going to use this one because I've actually already got one, so I'm just going to go and grab the other one. All right, so here is my, my original one. It's quite opaque, and when it dries, you can go back over it and it will take, you know, it will take several layers upon itself. And what I've found with some of the other gel pens is that they don't do that very well. So that that was one of the things I really liked about this one. There we are, put it on the darkest colour. So it's going down on top of the pencil, no problem. And I'm going to try it on this ink here. There you are. Look how much that's standing out. It's amazing. So they are, they are pretty good gel pens this is a, it says a medium tip which they're saying is one one millimeter i'm assuming you get a fine tip and a broad tip as well right and finally before we finish up the scroller challenge is body parts the first thing that springs to mind is doing something like this and doing a study which it's kind of obvious, but I kind of want to do it in the pencils and the ballpoint pen. However, for the scroller challenge, I don't think I would do that because it's essentially what's just been done here already. So I'm going to have to come up with something more imaginative. I, I, in my head, it just springs to mind something silly, like a, a factory that makes hands and feet or something like that, you know, like a really silly drawing. Um, so I don't know, I might, I might stray off my usual more sort of realistic style and do something silly like that. But uh, keep your eyes peeled for the scroller challenge video. It is going to be up in a week or so simply because this box has been so late. So this is me just in my little scroller box book. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to use all these supplies in one drawing. It's going to be difficult, I think. My thoughts are to do a more sort of complex picture. And it means I can use the... I can use the Kohinoor pencil for sketching out, you know, like rough outlines of whatever it is I'm going to do. And maybe even like a landscapey, like backgroundy type effort. I don't think it's going to be mountains somehow, but, you know, I'm just sort of demonstrating. I could then use the graphite stick 
as shading for the background and make it, um, you know, like a, a sort of very vague, faint, you know, faint background, whatever it is I want to do. If I'm going to make mountains, then that would be really handy. So that would be using the graphite stick. Then I could use the black ballpoint pen as my liner pen. So I could use that for my line work for whatever it is that's in the foreground. Oh man, this is getting difficult. <laughs> I can use the the three other ballpoint pens for the subject, you know, the actual point of the picture, which is body parts. So maybe do something like draw hands in blue, feet in purple. Wow, he's got cool feet. This is not the standard of artwork normally, just, you know, just so you know. And, you know, you can draw noses in pink or something like that. And... <sighs> I could use the pencils to shade said body parts. Now there's an idea, so you know, like purple shading on his feet. Get some shading on the go. A little shadow under his nose. Something like that, that would be quite cool. That would be a good way to use it. I can use my blending stump to blend out my, my background, whatever it is I've decided I'm putting in the background. Now see, that looks like a half decent mountain. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, wow. My, my art skills must be improving. I draw a good mountain. Anyway, so yeah, I can use my paper stump for that. I have an eraser. When, not if, when I make a mistake, I can use that to rub my graphite lines out because that's taken those away perfectly. That only leaves the white gel pen and I think, I think I could use the white gel pen and do, do with them what I normally would with them and either use it to make a bold outline or use it for some highlights, because when I was talking there about using pencils for shading, then I can counterbalance that with some highlights with this white gel pen. So I think that's going to be my plan. I don't really know what I'm going to draw yet, but it's kind of good to sound out what I'm going to do with, you know, all these supplies and how I'm going to manage to incorporate them into one picture. So I don't think that's a bad idea. I am going to have to cheat slightly and I mean this in the best possible way I can't use the pencils in the, the the nick that they're in there's hardly a point on that at all and it's the same with the colored pencils particularly the pink ones so I'm gonna have to sharpen them let's try this this is a bullet sharpener this is one of my favorite sharpeners for my graphite pencils oh look at that that's pretty good the corner pencil That's sharpening just fine as well, no issues there. And let's see if we can sharpen the eraser. Yeah. <laughs> That's the funniest thing in the world, sharpening an eraser. But yeah, that works as well. So it's a little bit dirty because obviously there's just been a graphite pencil in my sharpener. But that that's sharpened as well. So there you go, everything sharpens fine, which is always good. <coughs> Not happening. Let's have a quick recap then of the contents of the box. So we have the, the oh, how now, how did I decide to pronounce that? It might be Leuchtturm, if it's German. Leuchtturm or Luchtturm notepad. We have our featured artist and I really, really like this one. We have the list of the supplies that came in the box along with our scroller challenge. Our funky scroller box sticker and we have our Melody Pop in Strawberry, which is going to get eaten just shortly. We have a Koenur blending stump, Oxford ballpoint pen, three Bic Crystal ballpoint pens in purple, blue and pink, three Ergo Soft pencils by Statler in similar colours, a Koenur eraser pencil, which actually works, which is really nice, Koenur 2B pencil, sketching pencil, a 2B graphite stick also by Koenur and the Pentel DX gel grip white pen. That is a lot of stuff. Okay guys, that is it. That is your scroller box for the month of November. I hope you've enjoyed having a look through the stuff with me and giving it a little bit of a go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you've liked the video and you'd like to see more of the same thing. And also feel free to drop me a comment in the box below and check out the description box for a link to the scroller box website and all the other bits and pieces that I have mentioned. All right guys, it's cheerio from me in the cave and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.